Hello everyone and welcome back to our Redwood Red Wolf National Park where we're currently staring at a bunch of apple trees. Look at this little place. Oh my gosh, it makes me want to build a little apple orchard in zoo crafting like right this second because look how cute this is. Right next to our little train station so you can come on over, you can get yourself nice apple juice, you can relax on the little bench. I'm still not over how cute this is. I am so proud of this build which is wonderful because it's good to be proud over what is literally let me see can I even see that anymore what's literally probably just a tiny little dot in our zoo and has nothing to do with any of our animals but it made me really happy to make all right so now that we know that let's go ahead and see how all the animals are doing apparently some fate <laughs> I have once again gotten my woolly mammoths caught inside of the barn. So you cannot fit a woolly mammoth in the barn is kind of the, the lesson that we're learning from this. Uh, also, apparently a dangerous animal has escaped. Let's go ahead and move our woolly mammoth and then we'll kind of go down the list of frantic alerts that everybody is currently experiencing. Logan, you have not escaped. So I don't know why everyone thinks that you have, old boy. But I think it's just because... Let's unbox all these animals. There we go. Stone should be good by now. Fate should be good. Teven has not escaped. Okay, I think our modded animals are just kind of... They're, they're getting their feet back under themselves. Um, There we go. Alright, Jackson, are you good now? Jackson, Stone's welfare has attracted... Oh, species food enrichment and toy enrichment is zero for our red wolves now? Uh-oh. <laughs> Things may have changed. Uh, Alright, let's double check that fate's okay real quick. Gosh darn it, Teven! Teven and Logan, I think, have been causing a lot of issues for our geese. So we might have to rehome those two. Oh my gosh, and why is Fargo inside of a box? Alright, we're, we're gonna get to the bottom of this. I think it's just because, you know... We're getting used to everything. Fate is feeling better. Okay, Jackson and Stone. How on earth did you get in the ground there, Jackson? This is why everybody is so worried about you. All right, everything should be okay now. We just have to, like, give everybody a good glance. And now that the game has updated, so who knows what's going to happen to our modded animals. But we're going to do our best by them. And speaking of doing our best by the animals, today I'm actually going to see if I can manage to get my badger that I have literally been dreaming about in here. And we are going to have our little badger den, and we're going to have Mr. Badger's coffee beans. Because Chips, my beloved husband, has been listening to me talk about how much I want to put a badger in this glorious modded zoo for eight Ages, and he came up with the idea of Mr. Badger's beans. So hopefully we will be able to add in like a little coffee shop, a nice place for our badgers to be. What is this? Why? Why would you choose the litter? This place is beautiful. Who looks around this glorious facility and goes, you know what this place needs? Trash. Trash everywhere. Here, people, put your trash in there. Like, seriously. Pun not even intended. Just like take care of the take care of nature. Take care of the environment. Be good people. Alright, and that said, let's go ahead and put the badger like in here. We're going to connect up multiple trails so that we can finally kind of loop all of this together. And then we'll see about maybe putting a little coffee shop maybe down here. <gasps> maybe I could have my first outdoor restaurant. Ooh, I haven't even tried to do that yet. So today we'll work on badgers and then maybe tomorrow we might work on restaurants. This would be a glorious, like beautiful restaurant, I feel. Like this amazing build. All right, we we've got some thoughts. We've got some thoughts. But let's go ahead and see what our badger would need. Let's see, European Badger. So, which one is the authentic European Badger? Because uh, one of these are modded and one is not. Hmm. All right, let me think about this. Okay, I think it's gonna be this guy. European badgers are the most social of badgers, forming groups of six adults on average, though larger associations of up to 23 individuals have been recorded. Several family groups live within the same set, so a badger set is what we're making. Badgers groom each other very thoroughly with their claws and teeth as a form of social interaction. 
Oh, wow. Okay, so we can have two to ten, up to five males and five females. And the dominance is a male hierarchy based on strength, but the mating system is usually monogamous. They are indeed shy. However, guests can enter their habitat. I think I would want to work with that very carefully. Um, And we're going to go ahead and have around 2,000 square feet, maybe-ish per badger. So with that in mind, I'm going to do wooden logs and we'll try doing kind of like we did for our wonderful, uh, let's see, length, we'll make smaller, for our wonderful foxes where we have one-way windows that people can see the badgers from. I mean, I guess I could have, oh, actually, I guess I could try a gate and then let the people walk around the badgers. That might actually work. Okay, we'll try a gate, and if it doesn't work, we will pivot, and we will work with something else instead. And I'm also going to give the badgers, like, a little hidden space back here, where if they want to come and get out of the way of all the people, they can. All right, maybe I'll have the, the zoo employee entrance, like, right over here. All right. I don't think I've ever successfully made an exhibit where people can like go in with the animals. So this could be quite intriguing. Oh, explore! The American bison's about to die of old age. Oh, he died. Oh, rest in peace. Oh, I could actually have a memorial, I think. I still am trying to figure out how to get memorials to like work. Because I, I, I thought that you were supposed to go ahead and be able to create a memorial that you could just like sync with the last animal that passed away but i think you have to like manually type everything in oh which is a lot harder but we'll we'll figure that out sorry explorer now is just not the time all right and then let's come over here i think this should be big enough and then we'll kind of leave this area for future potential mr badger's beans and then we'll do this and I'll try to have like a nice little educational spot before people come in to the badger zone. All right, and we'll, we will try out the gate and we'll see if we can make this work. And if we can't, we'll pivot. So the guest gate would be like over here. Oh, I'm gonna need more room. Curses. All right, note to self. <laughs> gotta, gotta give the guests more room first. Uh, okay, so I'll put it right here, I suppose. And then we'll fix that in just a minute. And then I'm going to put another guest gate right here. And I'll have like a, a little education board section over there. And then we'll have a final guest gate over here. Ooh, this is going to be interesting. I've never tried using these guest gates before. And then we're going to have a zookeeper facility gate right there. All right, so let's fix the, the barrier real quick. Here we go. And then we'll do this one. Oh, this is going to be exciting, guys. I've never tried to do this before, so I am hoping what we might have to do, and they did in the Alpine Zoo, was you still have a few places where the fencing is in place so that there's only a few patches people can kind of see the badgers through and that gives them a feeling of privacy and then they had windows otherwise so the badgers are shy but you kind of have like this guided corridor so you, you get to see them however you don't get to traumatize them all right let's try this because this could be really fun. And we'll come on this side. And it will also kind of very clearly direct people. Like, yo, stay in the tunnel. Don't bother the badgers. And it leaves gaps. I'm literally just mimicking the build from Alpine Zoo now. But it leaves gaps so badgers feel like they've got room they can go in between. To maneuver all over the place. However, they don't feel crowded. All right, let's make this a little smaller. And then a little bigger again. This is fun. I've never tried building something quite like this before. I should probably put the baths down first. 
That's an idea. <laughs> train modification failed. Well, let's not worry about flattening the train. Let's just worry about connecting it. One thing at a time, please. Ah, see? All right. That's what I get for not thinking to do the pathing first. That's okay. So I often make mistakes whilst I am creating our things in Planet Zoo, but I like to leave them in so that you guys can maybe have an idea of what to not do if you're trying to do something similar. And I actually received the sweetest email in the world from a gentleman who said that his daughter actually learned how to play Planet Zoo and they tried watching like tutorials on doing a couple things that she was having a hard time with and they would try to look it up with like proper tutorials to like answer your question. Hey, I'm not done with this exhibit, friends. <laughs> These people just walked right in and that is so funny. <laughs> But it was really a sweet email because the, he mentioned that they were watching tutorials to try to understand how to make like this build that his daughter wanted to make work. And the tutorials just weren't making sense because she couldn't quite grasp like one little detail of it. And then I made the same mistake in my videos and she was finally able to understand like, oh, so that's what I need to do. And that's why I leave the mistakes in. Like, because of that sweet, sweet message and just realizing like, oh, it's really good to sometimes see how things mess up. Which, fun fact, friends, is why my sister-in-laws love, love, love watching The Great British Bake Off. Because sometimes it's really helpful as a, like, novice baker yourself to have a chance to see the way people mess up so that you can try to make your food better. All right, this is cute. I like it. Now we're gonna fill it with badgers and we're also gonna come in and we're gonna make it so we don't need climb proof. That's not an issue. Uh, we're gonna do one-way glass and we're gonna do the one-way glass. I have to, how do I change the direction? Oh, there we go. There we are. So when the badgers are on this side, they'll be like, okay, the humans can't see me for a minute. But the truth is, you can actually see the badgers. All right, one way glass, and then we're gonna switch the side. Wait, no, no one way glass, there we go. And, oh, who escaped? Hmm? Oh, it's this thing again. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, occasionally the bison calves like to go ahead and run around down there. Silly baby. All right, I'll fix that eventually. All right, I think we're getting kind of close to being able to go ahead and add in our badger. Hmm? Why can I not connect to these two paths? Only there, eh? I mean, I won't complain as long as you guys will connect up. Interesting. All right, all right. Fussy. And let's do this. And maybe Mr. Badger's beans will go over here. Hmm? All right. I think we're almost done. I'm just gonna... Can I? Nope, you can only select. <laughs> That's fine. All right, and then let's swap the side. And we're just gonna turn all of these into one-way glass that people can see through, but badgers cannot. And we'll see if this is maybe even too many openings. And if it is, you know who wins, the badgers, not the people. And in fact, I think we can go ahead and maybe try to add some badgers in while I'm doing this. There we go. And that might be a fun way to kind of assess if we need to change some things up. So this is going to be, oh, it looks so good. Uh, badger set. There we go. And let's get ourselves some badgers, you guys. I know there's high amounts of litter. It's because people are rude. I hope if you guys have made some New Year's resolutions, one of them is to be a good human and to try to clean up after yourself. All right, let's take a look at both these badger types. I'm pretty sure these are the badgers that I want. Pretty sure. So I'm gonna stick to this variety that's like the heads are facing this way and not these varieties because it seems like a planet zoo thing to make the the faces big and expressive so let's go ahead and adopt this badger this badger we'll get the whole set pun fully intended and then let's look for any species and 
look at that! Now we've got a whole bunch of badgers! What do you mean, no path to destination? Hmm? This is a perfectly acceptable habitat, is it not? Hmm. Let me see. Oh! <laughs> oh my goodness, Siri. Yeah, that, that, I mean, I guess because there were so many other gates, I was like, why can't you just use that one? But the zookeepers are like, I literally cannot go through the zookeeper gate. It's broken. All right, well, let's go ahead and we're going to send all these badgers to the zoo. And then we need to actually add this in to add this in to our work zones so we have people who can take care of it so who doo -doo 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 -doo. work zones would it be jack's fantasy cottage did you think oh she's already taken care of these as well oh we don't have any maintenance on our apple trees oh dear all right we'll do jack's fantasy cottage oh dear nobody is taking care of these things okay we're gonna have to make another uh let's see Dear Wetlands and Zoo, who's taking care of, like, picnic, is that Picnic Plaza? Okay, Picnic Plaza will have take care of the zoo stuff, or the train stuff as well. Oh, and Picnic Plaza is also going to need to take care of those ATMs! We cannot let the ATMs break! Like, people use that, people are all over this thing. Alright, there we go. All right, so that should get that taken care of. And now we should have our badgers. <gasps> badgers! Why are you guys fleeing? It literally says that you can go in the same exhibit unless this is the wrong European badger. <laughs> okay, did I grab the wrong species? Let's see, promiscuous, ah! Okay, I think I, I chose the wrong species. Guests can enter have Dang it! Okay, we got the wrong variety of badger. This is the dangers, friends, of having gone ahead. Oh, all right, Matthew, I'm sorry. We're gonna have to release you to the wild because you're the wrong species of badger. They looked cute. They looked like the kind of badger that I would have expected from Planet Zoo, but it's these badgers. All right, so we're gonna have to adopt a new set of badgers. Pun again, fully intended. And then now we have to come and grab this new set of badgers and put them in here. I really should have waited until I had, um, I had finished, like, putting in the trade center or releasing to the wild my old set of badgers. So these are the badgers one cannot be in the same area with or else guests will, like, decide to flee for their lives. <sighs> All right. That's fine, that's fine. It's a subspecies of badger that causes mass alarm and terror, apparently. All right, meanwhile, we're gonna get this all organized. I can't wait to fill this thing with flowers. If there's something that this badger area needs more than anything else, it's definitely more plants. Also, windows on this side, but we'll get there eventually. This is fun, I have, this is literally my first ever walk-in proper with a little gate and everything uh, area for animals. So I'm intrigued to see how this turns out. Hopefully with less screaming this time. All right, and while we wait, I'm gonna actually get one of our vets researching the noble badger. Where's my badger? Do I have a badger out yet? There's my red foxes. Yeah, I haven't started European badger. Uh-oh, where is my badger? <laughs> Okay, these are my other three badgers that I need to, like, quick trade or something. Oh, and now I don't think I can get rid of them! Wait, wait, I can quick trade John. I'm sorry, John. You were the wrong subspecies of badger. And that's just what happened. And Delilah, maybe I'll make you your own area. Alright, animal has escaped? Not really, actually! <laughs> they can climb! Oh my gosh! All right, this is not what I had in mind. This is not what I had in mind. All right, guys, I'm going to need to do a little bit of fixing. <laughs> Maybe a lot of fixing of this situation to reassess. Like, okay, actually, if they can climb this, they're just going to climb right out the sides. What have I done? All right, I'm going to need to go ahead and fix that. 
Um, but we're gonna manage and at least we have the badgers like in the zoo now That is something I have been trying to do for quite a while uh, But all right guys <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me on this adventure where I think our bad. Yep. There she goes She's trying to make an escape for it where our badgers are going a little wild. I'm not gonna lie <laughs> And if you guys would like to join us on this and literally thousands and thousands of more adventures Do please consider subscribing. Let's just casually come over here and put that all client proof, please there and if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands of adventures, do please consider subscribing, like I mentioned. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious, and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye